You want to give yourself the edge as a human resources professional, but which skills actually matter? Which ones will land you that career defining job or promotion? Today, I'm going to tell you the five skills for human resources professionals that are in high demand that you need to get on your resume. As a human resources professional myself, I am here to give you the most up to date and actionable career and job search advice. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to get a new video on Thursdays. The five skills I'm going to tell you today are the keywords that employers look for on your resume. And I have gotten hundreds of HR and people professionals jobs by helping them to upskill and revamp their resumes with these skills. And make sure you stay to number five because that is the top skill I've seen if you take a few classes to build it makes all the difference in getting the job or a promotion. So let's first discuss how do you build skills for an HR career? One way is to get involved with anything around employee engagement, community building, training, hiring, firing, performance management, anything people related. Even if your role isn't straight up human resources role, get exposed to those different processes in any way possible. Second is to skill up using courses and books. Certifications are a great way to learn new skills and have something to legitimize your expertise to employers. But you need to get the right certification. Have you ever noticed that so many HR professionals on LinkedIn say SHRM CP or SHRM SCP in their profile? Well, that's because employers look for SHRM certifications and trust those the most. I've known the folks at SHRM for years and they were gracious enough to sponsor this video, but sponsorship or not, they're one of the most highly respected HR companies in this industry, and that's a fact. SHRM has their main certifications and they also offer specialty credentials available for many of these in-demand skills. These credentials are a great way to show your area of expertise along with your dedication to the profession and can be a stepping stone to the larger certification. I'll link a whole page of all the specialty credentials in the description so you can peruse them yourself. Here are the top skills to learn. Skill number one, talent acquisition. I know what you may be thinking. I'm not a recruiter, I'm more of a generalist. But recruiting and talent acquisition skills are still super useful, and here's why. One reason is to keep costs low, companies sometimes like to hire someone who is a recruiter slash human resources professional hybrid. Essentially someone who can full stack hire people and engage with them all the way through their entire employee life cycle. Having recruiting skills along with the other skills I will discuss in this video will enable you to beat out all those other talented folks for these jobs. And second, your career might hit a bit of a ceiling if you don't get TA experience. If you've only ever touched the other HR disciplines and they are looking to promote someone to oversee all functions of HR, you better know your stuff when it comes to recruiting. Talent acquisition skills include sourcing, building a recruiting process, talent evaluation, scorecards, applicant tracking systems, offer generation, and negotiation. If these areas sound unfamiliar, then study up, my friend. To build this skill, recruit for any organization you're a part of, even if you're recruiting volunteers for a charity event. Find any way to touch some of these skills. But there are more specific hard skills like sourcing and offer generation that are highly attractive to employers. So either build that skill or show employers that you have a strong grasp by enrolling in SHRM's talent acquisition specialty credential, which I will link in the description. Skill number two, total rewards. The fact of the matter is, if you are in HR, you will be expected to have an understanding of benefits and compensation and the other incentives provided to employees. There is so much to learn here, and often it is easiest to learn this on the job, but one way to go about it is to study what your company does. What do they use to provide benefits? What HRIS or HR information system do they use? What what else do they offer like tuition reimbursement or other benefits? Start asking questions. Know what a PEO is before walking into your next job interview. 
Sherm is, of course, a total hub for this information. There are tons of resources there, including their Foundations of Compensation program, which will break it down for you. I'll make sure to link more information on that program in the comments and in the description. Skill number three, immigration and employment law. If they hire anyone who needs visa sponsorship or hire in multiple states or heck, just hiring in one state is so darn confusing. They will want you to spearhead the H-1B process and protect the company from making any terrible missteps when it comes to employment law. Now, you don't need a law degree and the good news is that you will work with lawyers who specialize in this, so it's a little less intense than it sounds. But being informed, knowing the right next step for any legal situation that comes up is highly valued in any HR professional. I would seriously advise on a full on specialty credential for this one. Sherm has one focused on US employment immigration and then another one for California HR law. So dive into those if they make sense for your situation. Now, the next two skills are so darn crucial. And I personally beat someone out for an HR job because the employer said that I had skill number five and they didn't. One thing you might be noticing is that all of these are hard skills. When HR requires a lot of soft skills, such as strong leadership and communication skills, Hard skills will give you a strong foundation and a killer resume, and soft skills will take your career to new heights. So make sure to check out Sherm's leadership workshops where they are crafted specifically for HR professionals to advance their careers with a well-rounded approach. I'll link more information about that program in the comments and in the description. Skill number four, employee relations. Employee relations is everything from being the intermediary between employees and managers to creating policies around employee issues like fair compensation, useful benefits, proper work-life balance, reasonable working hours, and others. It's all about being the peacekeeper and coaching others through complex situations. The first step here is to start reading company policies and get familiar and consider why certain choices were made when writing these different policies. Though I'm warning you, do not read these late at night because you may start to get drowsy, but these policies have an incredible amount of work that go into them. And then if you are not able to get direct HR mediation experience, look for other areas in your work or life where you can act as a mediator and a coach and look to flex those skills more. There is an engaging course called Workplace Coaching and Mentoring where you'll learn coaching techniques designed to effectively increase leader and organizational performance. If you can talk eloquently on that topic, they are going to go, dang, this person is strategic. I will link more information about that course. Again, it's on Sherm in the comments and in the description. Skill number five, people analytics. Executives want to see numbers. People analytics is so crucial. It's how you collect data on your workforce and then use that to inform major decisions and programs. Such as, can you tell me how much of your employee turnover last year was regrettable loss? how far diverse candidates get in your recruitment pipeline, if your internal promotions has increased since implementing that leadership training two years ago, using HIS and performance management systems to unearth this data will be crucial. Without data, you're just another chump with a hunch. I personally learned people analytics from my organizational psychology master's program, and that was very statistics heavy, but you don't have to enroll in a master's program to learn this stuff. And surprise, surprise, Germ does have a people analytics specialty credential that I highly recommend you get, and that can really help you take your career to the next level. I will provide all of these Sherm links in the comments and in the description so that you can make sure to utilize all of their excellent resources. I'll also link a free download of how to update your LinkedIn profile, which is a full checklist of exactly what to do. Because once you build these great skills and certifications, you better get that on your LinkedIn profile. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. You've got this Wi-Fi high five. <laughs>